there are, there are times when I feel I'm just observing everything else and certain things give, give, give the right impulse or the right signal. They give the right signal because the pieces, even before they're named, even before anything else, they do have their place, they have their light, they have their color. The thing that's underneath that, you have to stay true to it. If it's a rhythm, if it's a sense, if it's a smell, there's something, there is, a, there is something there. What I like uh, about John Scott, or like working with him actually, is uh, that uh, he's, um, no, you never really know what he's going to do. I wish I could say I had a method. It seems to be more like a type of chaos. Something more interesting than that, please. Um, yeah, you did like a fondue in the Oh, how about this? How about that? And then it kind of went out, down, ouch, like I'm going my flies. There, something like that. <laughs> He'll get like possessed by the dance and he'll just go on and on and on and you're it's like... It's impossible to remember. There. I don't <laughs> With this piece and with these dancers because they're so great and because I trust them and they trust me, we are much happier to just go in lost and, and be lost and that's important to have this being lost time. At the moment, it's like there are things there, we couldn't name them. We've been in the studio for the last two weeks trying to find what's there and to, to identify it and to record it and to witness it. We're making material, we're making material and just finding what's there because I find with the work, subconsciously a lot is already there. There are different strategies. Um, I don't know if anything that I do is either respectable or conventional, but um, there's the kind of the old autocratic one where I would make steps and the dancers that? take the steps on the board, they learn the steps, and that's very sort of it's the old hierarchical thing. Um, there's also times where maybe you give a task. Um, I gave the dancers a task last week of um, making different things, of making a happy step, making a sad step, making a death. That kind of thing is cute. I don't really know what it is. That I, it's, it's you, you, you actually seem to go into first and then turn in first. You don't... Yes! Okay. So from here, push one, come around, and then go over here. Oh, that's my nice. thing! I see things happen that's sometimes. It. I see somebody maybe doing something at the side. I see someone making a mistake. I see somebody reacting to something, and suddenly I will steal what they've done. Are you gonna... <laughs> Ashley, you've just done the next step. I have just done? Yes. If he gives us like the bits and pieces and then as we put it together, if you, if you say like, oh, it feels like we keep doing this or it feels like we're always really on this level or we're always kind of this... Because he's not really doing it, doing it all the time, so he doesn't feel how it's yeah. going. It's hard, it's, it's not an easy thing. I have always had an impression that, um, that the choreographer came in prepared. I, I was apprenticed to a ballet company and we did mostly revivals. So someone would come in and they just did the notebook and said, you stand there, you lift your arms, hold that for four counts, turn, go over there. Um, and, uh, and there are so many different ways of making work, so many different ways.